In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Dr. Java and write the first program on it. First, we need to find the Dr. Java's website, drjava.org. Then, we need to download this Windows version, and it will start to download the program Dr. Java from the SourceForge website. It is a public domain open source software. Then you continue to prepare for the download. Now we start to download the software. It takes a while, so be patient. Now it's ready. Then we open it from our download site and then find the executable program. The name is quite long, but let's click it and run. So now it's coming up. From here, set file association, we click no. And then we can start to do the first program programming. Let's put class test. And then public static void main. The first method. And then string bracket bracket for the input array from console. And then let's define some variable i equals 0 and integer j equals 1 and then let's put out something. Let's put in our hello world message. Now let's save it. In order to save it, we need to find the right directory. So let's stretch the directory view. And then let's click up one more level. Still in user, I try to find my personal directory. Now let's click here and then find the directory Udemy and then find APCSA. And then we need to create one directory called Dr. Java. Get into there. and save it as a test.java. Now we create one more level of test and then save it. Now let's look at this menu. There are some tools and then we need to compile the current document, the Java file. And the compiler output will say compilation completed. And then that's wrong, use wrong document. So we see hello world over there. Now let's add something. Let's put system.out.println and then put the output of the two variable x equals i variable value and then y equals plus j variable value. So it will print out as x equals a value and then y equals a value. Now that's wrong. Because we didn't compile this new version, so it will have some error. And then let's compile it again and wrong again. We will see something like in the interaction console, but we need to put some space in there. And then we compile again. Now we are looking at different compiler installation. Let's pick this JDK 8.0. So this Dr. Java is supporting different compilers and there are several functions as help. You can find the help page and there's Java doc. We can click Java doc to convert the Java file into documentation format. And we can also open the save file 
and then convert it into the Java Duck format. Now it's creating the Java Duck file. The Java Duck is created and it will be viewed in the Chrome or any browser. Now let's create it. And in our directory, as I mentioned, we have the Dr. Java's executable file, but the name is very long. And we try to find this test.java in our own directory. We can open it with other tools, not Dr. Java. For example, we can open it with the notepad. So let's try the notepad or wordpad. I don't like these applications. So let's try Notepad. And it is open, so you can use the Notepad to edit it as well. Now let's go back. And go to the download directory. find our executable file and I want to copy it to my language package so I paste there but I don't want the name to be so long so I want to rename it just remove the version and release number and it become a clean Dr. Java executable over there and run it again Same thing, I said no. Then I can do the same thing over. Open the file again. It's still there. So let me compile again and run again. Hello everybody, you're watching the welcome message for the Easy Learning Channel. My name is Eric Chow. We have one YouTube channel. There are preview videos and mini courses. We also have one Udemy channel. Over there you can get full-length courses, source code, tutorial links, documents, quiz, lab, and project. We use Facebook as our communication media and we also use that as office hours. If you need help, you can get help from there. And we also make announcements through the Facebook or the Udemy announcements.